Hello. Good morning. The sun is shining where I am anyway. Of course, I'm in the desert, so. Uh, how you doing? Good morning. <laughs> or, or evening, wherever you're at. Uh, it's early. And I literally just woke up. Had some interesting dreams last night. <laughs> the last dream I had was really weird. There were some kids. It was a lake. Some kids were on these bikes on the water, and they had big fat tires, and they were actually floating on the water riding these bikes. And I was trying to figure out how they were working. And even the kids were like, why aren't we falling over? This is awesome, right? It was cool. And then these ladies come walking by me on the water. And I was like, what the hell, right? Like, you know how groups of ladies do their walks and stuff? They're all like on the lake walking by me, and I'm like, what the hell? I was like, okay. And so what I did, it's a dream, right? So what I did was I was like, oh, yeah, but can you fly? And I w went, flew right by him, and I started flying in the air. And of course, Superman showed up. I'm like, crap, Superman. So I started flying away <laughs> like like I was going to get in trouble from Superman for flying or something. It was funny. And then, of course, I got too high, and I started flying down. And like, you know, happens in dreams when you start falling. I just woke up. I was like, nope, I'm not crashing into the trees. <clears throat> it's an interesting dream. I haven't had dreams of flying in a long time. That's one of a sure sign that you're a shaman when you have dreams of flying. I used to have dreams of flying all the time when I was younger, where I'd just go hang out with some friends and, and I want to walk out the door and put on my jacket and then just take a couple steps and phew, fly off. But it was always at night, oddly enough, whenever I flew, because I didn't want people to see me. But that's not what this is about. Um, my last dream, I'm my last dream, sorry. <laughs> Have sleep. My last video was about disinformation, was about, um, as a journalist, I used to study this stuff. And I understand when, when somebody is trying to mask something with another, it's kind of like that bait and switch. You're robbing, the, you're robbing a bank, so you, you, you set off alarms across the, on the other side of the, you know, the city, so all the cops go there so while you're robbing the bank, that kind of thing. Those two articles about the marijuana being problems for young people and the heart conditions, I knew it was bullshit. You know, you just don't have consent, you know, right at, one after another. And they both are very succinct about heart conditions, heart attacks. And I thought that was just, especially when people are dropping dead of the snake shot, so that really bothered me. So I thought I'd make a video about that. One thing I touched on in that video that I didn't elaborate about was slavery and that thing I got to tell you I didn't I was ignorant to a lot of it when I was younger I wasn't I don't know if I was complete I know there were countries in the world third world countries that had people in servitude they you know serfs they would they would have to pay their debts by having to sell their kids and I always thought that was horrible and I always wondered why nobody ever stopped it. And then when Obama became president, I was expecting something to happen. I was expecting him to stop these things, these horrible things in the world. And he didn't. Can you imagine my dismay on that one? When you believe in people and they promise that they're going to do good and they do right, and they just turn around and they're just the biggest fucking evil bastards in the world. It just breaks your heart. It makes you... I was disheartened. Because I was nobody. And I was like, what can I do? I'm nobody. And it was, it broke my heart. And I had to, sh I have to, had to push it aside because I knew that it was just, it would drive me nuts. I was literally nobody. I, was, I had no power. I had no voice. Nobody listened to me. And I was, of course, I didn't believe in myself, which is another problem. If you don't believe in yourself, you're not going to believe that you can change the world. I believe I can change the world now. I just need to get my voice out, which is a problem with YouTube right now. I'm being restricted for no reason. I've got no strikes. I've only had one video pulled and of course it was about the, the snake shot. And I the only people that can actually read their comments are the people that actually subscribe to my channel. I've had people commenting a lot on my videos but it's all gobbledygook. It's a bunch of ash asterisks and ash tags and numbers and it's it's ridiculous i can't wait to show people what it is it doesn't make any sense and i know this isn't normal 
You should be able to read every comment that somebody posts, period. But I can't. So I don't know. I actually have one video. That's the most bizarre thing is one of my videos actually has the most likes I've gotten from any video. And yes, it and yet it doesn't show up on my videos. It shows up on my home feed, but it doesn't show up in my videos. When you, you click on the videos, like it has home, and then you click on the videos and you go down the list, it's not there. It's, it should be right after um, Dharma 2.0. Reconstructing Dharma, and it shows me, you know, fabricating the front of my vehicle. And then the video after that is like 30 seconds, and it just shows the final, you know, Dharma all fixed up and painted. And, and I got like 31 views on that one, which was weird. It's the most most views I've gotten on any of my videos, except it doesn't show up on my video feed, which is bizarre. Like I said, there's so much, you know, fuckery going on with YouTube. As far as censorship, I was censored from Facebook like years ago. Um, my name is Robert Keith, by the way, and you can go to my Facebook page. I have art, I have probably like 400 um, of my paintings on there, and I have poetry <laughs> that I wrote, but I also have a lot of anti government stuff, anti globalist stuff. I talk about adrenochrome and other things, and of course, that's gonna um, shadow ban me hard. So that's basically what I'm what's happening with YouTube is I'm being shadow banned. So you have to actually search me out to actually see my content. Like I have people that can content, comment on my stuff, but like I said, they're subscribers, which I have 11. <laughs> like I said, my voice isn't getting out, which is sad. But slavery exists in the world, and it, it's just devastating to me that nobody's done anything about it. This was, should have been, I mean, we're talking 1870s, you know, when... I don't know. I just I just can't imagine us going to the stars when we're still putting people in bondage, slavery, servitude. I mean, not just some cute little I work at McDonald's and I I don't get paid enough. I mean, people that are being bought and sold, beaten, they're being sexually abused and killed. They can do what they want with these slaves, and there's no consequences to these people. There's a, there's a country in the west of Africa, in the Sierras, it's called Moriata or something like that. Look it up. They have open slave markets. Of course, they said that they were supposed to stop and blah, 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 but it's all globalist. So no, they, they continue their slave markets. And same thing with, um, with the Middle East. They have slavery there. They sell and, and even in the, even in Asia, they have people that are, um, that owe debts and they end up selling their kids and that's where you have these slave markets that's where you have these um that's why these scumbags go to the philippines and screw these kids because their people are selling their children because they have no they're they're horrible i can't imagine i just that that blows my mind in so many ways and i'm sure there's still kind of weird sex slavery shit going on in america too there's just it's globalist they don't care it's that's it's part of their predilections. A lot of these people are perverts. A lot of these people are child molesters. So, of course, they're not going to fight this stuff. They're going to ban it. But slavery exists in the world. And it's, it's something I would love to, to concentrate on. If I were the president of the United States and I had the greatest power, military power, on earth, you can guarantee that shit's going to stop. But it hasn't, and they don't even talk about it. There's a there's a, a group of people called the Underground Railroad, and they go around the world saving children from sex slavery. Jim Caviezel did a movie about him. It's important that you watch that. It's, it's, it's horrible to even think about, but you can't put your head in the sand anymore. This evil has to stop. These people have to be stopped. And I'm going to talk about it. I keep putting up videos about it. I want to be fun. I want to talk about art and love and your personal power and grace and glory of humanity. But while we have people doing horrible shit like that and everybody's sitting there sipping their lattes and watching their Dancing with the Stars or whatever they have voices or whatever the crap they watch now, it's all distractions that keep you lulled and content. There's people in the entertainment business 
Ryan Reynolds, people like that, that are really, really profiting off this shit. And I know he's not a bad guy. Now, a lot of these people aren't, but not a lot of them know about this shit. None of them are saying nothing because they all have contracts. They all have money invested. Joe Rogan is a great example. He talks about trying to, he's, he tries to act like he's some kind of voice for the people. He doesn't speak about a lot of this shit. And if he did, he'd probably be off the air quicker than shit. He knows it. So he doesn't have the balls to actually go after the serious shit. He can t- say CNN was lying. We're talking about ivermectin and fine. But is he going to talk about the sex slavery? Is he going to talk about... Is he going to talk about adrenochrome? Is he going to talk about all these horrible shit that these people are doing? They're a cult. They're, they're demonic. They worship Satan. They worship Baal or whatever the fuck they call them. It's horrible shit, people. And God's going to use me. And, and, I, and I'm going to be blessed to do the work. And I'm going to speak up every chance I get. Because these children, these people, they need a voice. They need a voice in this world for them because they don't have one. And my voice is being stifled. Like I said, I want to be love and light and I want to be cheery. But last night, things were revealed to me. And I was like, you ain't going to sit on the sideline no more. I can't. I can't sit on the sideline anymore. I was worried about my family. I was worried about my children, my grandchildren. Because these people have killers on speed dial and they don't they are not afraid to use them Seth Rich is a great example of that just an idealistic young man a Bernie bro he was killed because he knew too much he found out some shit like I said I can't stay silent about it no more I'm still going to do my truth I'm still going to live in the light I'm still going to paint I'm still going to smile I'm still going to put out videos about your personal power and loving yourself. And I'm going to laugh and I'm still going to try to be charming and, and think of clever things to say and different topics. But this is important. Slavery is just evil, straight up. And any black man in this world who's bitching about Trump, he ain't got a leg to stand on. Any black man that votes for a Democrat... He doesn't have a leg to stand on because obviously he's ignorant to their past. They were slave owners. Democrats were the party of the KKK, the Jim Crow laws, segregation. And all of a sudden they're the, they're the voice of the people. That's such bullshit. Like I said, it's a con. It's all a game just to divide everybody, to divide humanity. We are all one. There is no color. There is only energy. There is only love or hate. And you got to choose which side you're going to be on. I choose love. And I choose humanity. And I choose children. And puppies and kittens. I'm not going to let that piece of shit Fauci torture animals no more. That dude's going down. I'm going to focus my energy. I'm going to focus my power on making sure that guy is kicking dirt in the ground soon. And he need, if he's not going to be in jail, Lord have mercy. But people like that shouldn't be walking free. That's for damn sure. So I'm going to focus my energy on bringing those people down. When I I have to, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to spend time for me. Still going to enjoy sunsets and stuff, but these people aren't going to get away with it. And I'm going to do everything in my power to stop them. What little power I have, whatever God gives me, I will use. If right now, if it's just this voice, and that's what I'm going to do. (sighs) Yeah. I'm fired up, babe. Trust me, last night I was just, I was talking to God. We were, yeah, I was fired up. I was ready to do a couple videos this morning. This is the first one. It's about slavery, and it exists. Educate yourself, people. Live in the light, not in the dark. Okay? As always, I love you. God loves you. The universe is really digging the fact that you're listening to this, and hopefully you'll share this, subscribe, and like. Please share if nothing else. I love you. I don't flirt. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Try not to be too heavy about it, but at the same time, be conscious of the things that are going on in the world because that's important. I'm going to let you go. And hopefully I'll put out another video. A little more light.